Bandstand is a relatively new musical. It premiered in 2015, but it is set in 1945, and it revolves around two characters, Donnie and Julia. Donnie is a young war vet fresh from uh, returning from the front lines in World War II, and he is a piano player and gets together a band because NBC is hosting this national competition for swing music. So he gets this band together and he goes and checks on his best friend in the war's widow. Her name is Julia. She ends up being the lead singer, and I won't spoil more, but they end up forming a relationship and uh, competing in this competition. It's really great, and one of my favorite parts about this musical is the choreographer for Hamilton, Andy Blakenbuehler, is the choreographer for this musical as well. So he's an award-winning choreographer. It's stunning from the costumes to the music to the choreography. It's really great. I personally saw it. I was crying, laughing, swooning. It really focuses in on PTSD. It focuses in on healing, both emotionally and physically. It also, you know, explores the swing time era music. So lots of big band, lots of flash on stage. Bandstand, the Broadway musical, is coming to the Sharon for three performances. So we decided to outreach to some of our local veterans here in the villages and give their perspective of what it was like coming home after the war. My name is Irving Locker. I'm 95 years old. I served in the Army. I went in on D-Day. Went through five major battles, wound up at the Battle of the Bulge, and then we stopped at the Elbe, the Americans stopped at the Elbe River. Then I went into Berlin. My name is Michelle Boshears, and I um, entered the service in 1979. I was commissioned as a second lieutenant out of New Mexico Military Institute in New Mexico. And um, my first duty assignment was at the quartermaster headquarters and school at Fort Lee, Virginia. My name is Alphonse Kateri, and uh, I served in, in the U.S. Army in the artillery. I was drafted in 1951, and they activated the uh, Connecticut National Guard. They activated the Pennsylvania National Guard. And I was from Connecticut, and I ended up in the Pennsylvania National Guard. I'm Jewish, and the Jewish language, the Yiddish part of the Jewish language, is a derivative of German. So I could understand a lot of the German. I couldn't speak their dialogue, but I could understand. So anybody who could understand German was sent into Berlin to try to settle the little towns, you know, to get the Burgermeister straightened out, and etc. So uh, it's been quite an experience and quite a lifetime of, of, uh, of war. While I was training, uh, I umpired baseball. So I go after uh, the day of training and I go umpire baseball. Well, we stayed at Atterbury about six months and then we paraded in Philadelphia and we went overseas. Both National Guards went overseas Connecticut National Guard ended up in Munich, and uh, the Pennsylvania National Guard ended up in the Stuttgart area. I did officer basic course there, and then after I was finished with my basic course, I went to airborne school at Fort Benning, Georgia. Got to jump out of airplanes, which was kind of fun. After I did that, I went to um, SHAPE headquarters in Belgium and I served four years there. I was the only second lieutenant in, on the installation. There were more general officers on the installation than there were company grade officers, and I had the experience of having breakfast one morning with three four-star generals when I was a second lieutenant. That was um, probably one of the highlights of my early career. When I retired from the military after serving 20 years, it was really kind of a sad moment. I mean, I, since I was 10 years old, I wanted to be in the military, and um, saying goodbye was, was a little bit hard. Well, it was different. <laughs> things have changed, you know. Uh, in a couple of years, things have changed you know, a lot different had to get more acquainted with uh, regular life instead of GI life. 
It was marvelous. It was the, the world's, I don't think the world has ever seen the greeting that we got uh, coming home. It was just uh, a marvelous situation. Uh, uh, as far as I was concerned, I was kissed and hugged by all the women and the girls and, and uh, made a great celebration with it. And I'm part of a very large family. I'm the baby of seven children. So we have a very, very large family. And uh, the greetings that we got, because you have to understand, during the war, I used to write home and tell my sister to prepare my mother that I'm never coming home. That's how tough it was for me as far as uh, the war was concerned. So coming home was quite a celebration. Bandstand is actually coming to this year and for three performances. The first performance is an evening performance at 7.30 on February 7th. Then we've got two performances on February 8th on Saturday at 2 o'clock and 7.30. Tickets are still available. Subscriptions are no longer available, but individual tickets are still available for this performance. We will be having the color guard present colors here in the lobby before each performance. We will also have other veterans presenting their memorabilia in the lobby as well. So it's really a community engagement for this Broadway tour.